Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve this interesting problem. And the first idea this problem is easy one because we have only x, x to the fourth power equal to 9, and if we take for example fourth roots from both of the sides we'll have our roots. But we can make a mistake right here because as you know we'll have 4 right here and we'll have no more than 4 roots. So as you can see right here we'll have 4 roots. And let's let's find it. I want to record a video. I want to show you that does not make make this problem quick because you easily can make a mistake. So take a look. This nine bring it on the left. We will have x to the fourth power minus nine equal to equal to zero. And how, what are we going to do next? Take a look. This nine is a really good number because this is a perfect square. We can write it as three square equal to zero and minus, and this x to the fourth power writing as x square to the second power. So I hope you understand this step, bringing on the left at first, and just write an 3 square and x to the fourth power. So right now we have a difference of two squares and we need to know about the formula. We need to know the formula a square minus b square. It will be equal to a minus b. I hope you know this formula, you need to know this formula because this is basic formula and let's apply this formula in our case we will have at first difference right here a equal to x square and b equal to b equal to 3 so at first x square minus 3 and times x square plus 3 equal to 0 and right now as you can see we can easily find our obvious roots our first root that we are thinking about it we can find this parentheses at first because we know that if product equal to zero then this expression equal to zero or this one equal to zero as well so at first x square minus three equal to zero we can easily solve it bringing at first x on the right x square equal to three and if we applying if we taking square root from both of the side we will have that our x equal to square root of square root of three and moreover this is the common mistake because I thought this I see this mistake a lot because no one put plus minus right here because take a look if we are going to solve it in a, in a reverse way so if we are solve it in a reverse way so if we raise it so for example x square and if we raise the right side to the second power so we will have plus minus square root of 3 if we raise this in a reverse way we will have that x square equal to 3 but we forget about a minus with the, in the plus sign. Okay, plus sign you write as well, but a minus sign because x equal to minus three, if we raise this to the second power, this minus disappear. Or if we raise minus square root of three, this minus disappears. So this minus is the thing I wanted to mention about it. This minus is really, really good and really necessary. So our x first equal to square root of 3 over x second equal to minus square root of 3 as well so two roots i hope this root will be or we'll see that this is a real number root so we find our real number root and let's find another root x square plus 3 equal to 0 the second parenthesis x square plus 3 equal to 0 and how can i solve it using the same logic let's bring this 3 on the right the constant on the right x square equal to minus 3 and as you can see right now x square equal to minus 3 we know that x square can can have only positive positive roots so x doesn't matter about this axis negative or positive the right hand side is always positive because x square start with the with zero and goes to to plus infinity this is always positive so this is positive function right here as you can see does not touch and intersect any negative points so x square is always positive how can i do with this let's let's find complex complex number root let's take in square root from both of the side we will have that x equal to plus minus square root of minus 3 so as you can see the same as the same as right here and how can we go with it take a look we can write this as plus minus and this minus 3 it's really good to write as square root of minus 1 and times square times 3 so we just write it in another way and moreover we need to know the rule if we have for example square root of a times b a product 
in our, in our square root, not sum, not subtraction, but product, we can write it as square root of a times square root of b, so we can just separate it. And we can do this in our case, plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of times square root of 3. And in complex number theory, you need to know, if you don't know, if you have situation like that, if we have square root of minus 1, we can easily write that this will be equal to this will be equal to i. You can change it in i. It's 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 really good looking answer. So plus minus i square root of i square root of three. And this will be our third and fourth root. X third equal to let's take with the plus sign i square root of three and x fourth equal to minus i square root of three. So first and second in real numbers and third and fourth in a in a complex numbers. So right here we'll have complex complex roots. I hope you understand this explanation. If you still have any question, write a question in a comment, write your suggestion in a comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.